Well, actually, uh, we'll be going on to a five minute break. Thank you. So I invite you once again to just bring your awareness into you, into your body. So you can either close your eyes or just lower your gaze, whatever feels comfortable. So just allow your shoulders to be relaxed, and your spine upright. As you bring your focus of attention onto, onto the body and the way it breathes. So just being with the, the movement or the motion of your in-breath and your out-breath. And just allowing each breath to take you deeper and deeper into that place of stillness. So relax the face. Relax the forehead and relax the temples. So allowing the face to be soft. And the eyes gently closed. Just keeping your attention on the breath as it travels in and out. So you're normal, relaxed, rhythm of breathing. Holding your body in stillness. So reminding yourself that right now, there's nothing for you to do. Just breathe. Surrender and let go. So allowing the universe to hold you in stillness and in calmness. Bringing awareness to, to the soles of your feet as they connect with the ground or the earth beneath you, stabilizing you in this moment.
or perhaps there's an awareness of your buttocks as it connects with the surface on which you're sitting. Again, stabilizing you in this moment. going even more deeply than you felt possible. Nothing to do, nowhere else to be. Surrender and let go. Mind and body in stillness. face is relaxed, the eyes are soft, allowing the mouth to smile gently, and the heart to soften. The entire body is breathing. Feel the body as it breathes. Breathing through every hair follicle. Go deeper into that place of surrender. Sweet surrender. Smiling inwardly.
allowing the eyes to smile. The mouth to smile. And the heart to soften. So in a moment, we're going to bring this practice to a close. Just before we do, I'm going to read you a poem. If I had my life over, I would dare to make more mistakes next time. I'd relax, I would limber up. I would be sillier than I have ever been before. I would take fewer things seriously. I would take more chances. I would climb more mountains and swim more rivers. I would eat more ice cream and less beans. I would perhaps have actual troubles, but I'd have fewer imaginaries. You see, I'm one of those people who have lived sensibly and sanely, hour after hour, day after day. Oh, I've had my moments, and if I could have them all over again, I'd have more. In fact, I try to have nothing else but moments, one after another. Instead of living my life so many years ahead of each day, I've been one of those people who never goes anywhere without a thermostat, a hot water bottle or a raincoat. If I had to do it again, I will travel lighter than I have. If I had my life over, I would start barefoot early in spring and stay way late into the falls. I would go to more dances, I would ride more merry-go-rounds and I would pick more daisies. Nadine Steer 85 years old. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Hyacinth. That was a beautiful seeded mindfulness activity and sharing and a beautiful poems. Thank you. Let's share our appreciation and open up your mics, everyone, with uh, this wonderful event with Sharon and Hyacinth. Thank you. Thank you, Hyacinth. We're so, thank you, so blessed. Yeah, thank you, everyone. Oh. And we'd like to thank each and every one of you who came out this evening um, to support and to to heal, you know, um, from your own losses. Um, so thank you for being courageous to take that act and attend. Um, we'll be doing more.